Hey everybody and welcome to Anime for Life. Um, I'm, I'm wishing you a happy Halloween and hopefully you guys will have a uh, happy time tripper, uh, trick or treating uh, with your kids or just a good time yourself. Um, I'll be going out later to uh, take my little cousin out and um, along with my girlfriend and my stepkids so Hopefully there will be a lot of fun and a couple of scares to be had. But uh, on to today's video, I decided to make this just for a couple of shits and giggles. I wasn't sleeping too well last night and so in an effort to try and lull myself back to sleep, a thought came to me, as random as it was, but... I'm thinking, I haven't uploaded a video in a while, and what would be a good um, video to make for Halloween? And then it dawned on me, why not make one about um, nightmares? Or to be more precise, why not make one about why Freddy Krueger wouldn't stand a chance against us weebs? Now, as funny as that sounds, it's true. Freddy Krueger would have absolutely no chance against us if he tried to take a swing at us, or I guess more appropriately a slash at us, in our dreams. And this just came to me completely randomly, but I thought it was a humorous enough thing to just make a light-hearted uh, video for Halloween. And so, as we all know, Freddy Krueger is a dream demon. He was a murderer in real, in, uh, in life, uh, child murderer specifically, and the people of Springwood got together and murdered him after a botched trial let him off. And after that, he made a pact with some demons and he came back. And he lives off the fear of others to do his stuff to kill each other or each other to kill the kids and the parents and basically anyone else that messes with him and so these are his are his abilities and I'm going to compare him to us and why he doesn't stand a chance against us and for him he's got the power of dream manipulation uh, power through fear He's immortal, so types 2 and 3, which means he can survive lethal injuries that would normally kill a person instantly, and he can regenerate. Like, he's been shown he can be crushed by a car, like in um, Dream Warriors, when the one kid basically threw a car straight up on top of him, and he just laughed it off. He's incredibly durable, such as when Jason from Jason vs. Freddy threw him through a, through a house roof, while he was in the mortal realm, and he just got right back up, he's actually very intelligent, so he can come up with quite uh, a lot of schemes very quickly, and they're very well uh, made up, very precise. He's stronger than your average person, as he's shown to have lifted up people with just a single arm and hold them there. And while he's in the dream realm, his range of really every uh, anything, even though he's typically hand-to-hand uh, -hand because of his glove, he really isn't limited. He can use that at any range because he controls everything in the dream realm. Now, as for, as for us and as to why he stands no chance against us, for us, we've got absolutely limitless imagination, meaning we can come up with anything We've got our fan fictions. We've got our our um, our shippings. We've got the oh our let's just say our little off-brand thoughts. Um, we've got no fear of the dream world because that's where we want to be. We we don't like the real world a lot of the time and wish we could just be with our waifus. So we would welcome that. A lot of the times, depending on how weeb we are, we're more likely just to tell them to fuck off and leave us alone. 
because we don't want to deal with them. We just want to be shot-ins with our waifus and husbandos and throw money at our gotcha games to try and get that waifu or husbando that we can't get. Um, he's obviously never seen some of the shit we've seen, and that's a lot more nightmarish than anything he could ever think up. Um, we can shape the world just as easily as he can. I mean, have you seen some of the shit that these uh, fan fiction authors dream up? That's easily the stuff of nightmares. I mean, you, you look at stuff like fucking Boku no Pico and stuff like that. That's just that's nightmare fuel right there. Or, or um, Futabu or something like that, which please don't look up. Just don't. Um, we're also now, as it's shown in Dream Warriors, uh, the third movie, they can do their own things as well. Their control of their own abilities. And they can do anything that they want. It's just because they have some form of fear, they, they still ended up falling to him in the end because they still had a direction of fear. And probably most terrifying of all, he highly underestimates our perversion. That's that's probably our biggest weapon against him. Now, let's say he comes up and tries to to um, stab us or something or anything. Well, now all of a sudden, you'd normally think, well, okay, well now he's killed you. You're screwed over, right? Anything Freddy wants to happen happens. That's why he's so powerful. Anything that happens in the dream realm, he can he can make happen, no matter how impossible it may seem. Well, that's good and great, but we're not playing with the normal, average, everyday person here. We're playing with a fucking weeb. You're playing our game now, Freddy. You you haven't faced somebody like us before. You come at me. Oh no, you stabbed me in the in the heart. You I'm bleeding out. Well, all of a sudden I'm motherfucking Hercules, bitch. Now you got to kill me 12 more times, 11 more times, and you now just stabbed me so you can't kill me that same way now. How many more times? How many more things can you you come up with to kill me? Now all of a sudden you you try and use fire. Oh, well well now I I just summon up Natsu. Well, screw your fire. You you try and Multiply yourself. Oh well, you know what? I'll just use Itachi, Gilgamesh, and Kurumi to take care of you. They can, they can take you all fucking day. And you know he he keeps saying he doesn't believe in fairy tales, or goddamn well, once we introduce him to fucking hentai, or fucking the Lord of Nightmares. So, really, all in all, he doesn't have. He doesn't have much in the way of actually combating a weeb. He thinks he does, but he's even said himself that if nobody's afraid of him, he can't do anything. He can't come back. He can't fight. Um, he really has no power whatsoever. He also has a weakness to the Necronomicon, I think it's called, in which if he fuses with that, from what I've read, he's got no power. But that's really a complete separate topic. But I just wanted to make this quick little video about really why he, Freddy Krueger thinks he's so hot shit. But if you have actually came across a weeb like us, you actually wouldn't stand much of a chance. Because there's nothing to, nothing to fear from him. He's got to fear us. When it comes to facing a weeb, he, we're, we're going to be the ones saying, welcome to my nightmare, bitch. Because he's never faced somebody who's never wanted to live in the real world. He, he's never faced somebody who wants to live in a dream. We'd be thanking him. We'd, we'd be the ones who would be his own Freddy Krueger. We'd be the Freddy Kruegers of Freddy Krueger. And so I just wanted to make this funny, stupid little video that just came to me for Halloween. And there's not much thought process put into it or planning. It's just another random sh thing that came to my mind while I was trying to get to sleep last night. 
So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a good Halloween. I hope you guys stay safe because it can get a little wild out there sometimes with people kind of taking it a little too literal sometimes. I know uh, some stuff has kind of gotten out of hand at times through my experience. So I hope you have a safe Halloween and I hope you enjoy it and get all the candy you can muster and rot your teeth away over it. But um, yeah, I hope you come back to watch more. Um, but until then, keep enjoying anime and anime for life.